Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So, I think a couple of videos back, we actually caught our first fish of 2023 out on the California Delta. And it was in good time, too, because it was the weekend for the California Bass Nation event number four on the Delta. We got a full day of practice before the tournament on Saturday. And uh, we came out here to Frank's track, really hoping to find anything, any clue, really just to get a bite so that we had some confidence going into Sunday. And we did. We found one little half mile stretch that had some fish. We caught a really nice one, big fish of the year, 2023 for me, on the jig, caught another one, and even had another one follow the jig. But the thing was, that was all in one little half mile stretch area. And uh, I was really excited going into Sunday, going into tournament day. However, if you saw that video, not good. Weather changed, the winds were 25, 30 miles an hour, gusts up to 25 and 30, and ultimately could not fish the stretch that we wanted and came in with one dink for our tournament. And uh, yeah, just had a bad one overall but it is approximately four days post tournament as you may have guessed we're here we're here again i don't want to say it's redemption or revenge but it's going to be a much nicer day as far as winds concerned yeah i plan on going back to that same area and then seeing what maybe could have been who knows what will happen today the delta the conditions are drastically changing for the better in my opinion we just had a full moon last night the weather is finally starting to stabilize with some warmer temperatures and it's april so i don't know i know i keep saying this every time we go out but any day now i feel like this bite should turn on out here and maybe today will be the day anyways as far as times go today it is about seven o'clock we're gonna get the kayak loaded and launched try to put eight hours out on the water today and uh i guess see maybe what could have been so that's the video for today day out on the delta fingers crossed let's go fishing Here we go, folks. Arrived at the spot, or close to the spot. We'll work our way up to it, but I'm gonna fish here for a second, right out the mouth of this island, and uh, maybe see if we can pick up some bonus striper. We've got a big tide swing today. Obviously, with this full moon, tide is ripping out right now. I think it's dropping till maybe 11:30, 12. But you know what, uh, all those things I said earlier, yeah, hopefully some redemption, some revenge, but man, it's going to be a beautiful day. Let's have some fun. good one right there this is what do you know this is the stretch i wanted to fish on tournament day not bad chunker i wonder if this fish was here the other day or just moved up it's probably a solid three pounder eh, let's give him a weight today oh, i thought it was three two and a half All right, first keeper of the day. On the old cheater jig. It's the only thing we can get bit on the other day too. Tried throwing worms and finesse stuff, reaction, and just nothing. All right, well, that's a good sign, I think. Again, a lot could have changed. I mean, full moon, warm and weather, even though it's only been four days, there could be a whole new group of fish in this part of the delta. Which I'm hoping.
Oh, I just got a bite right there. I guess maybe not. Or maybe yes. Dude, see, they did the same thing. I'm telling you, these fish are males. Biting off the little pinchers. Little males. Or big males, I don't know. Weird. I feel like I know where the bed is set up and can't get them to bite a worm. <sighs> yeah, these were the males. Yeah, little guy. That's not too small. Fatty. I bet you that was on a bed. Let that jig sit there for a minute. Oh man, what could have been on tournament day? What could have been? Who knows? Who knows? Can never say for sure. Thank you, sir. Number two. I mean, the bite's not epic, but there's some fish to be caught. Probably needs to slow down a lot more, too. I'm pitching into places and probably taking it out a little too quick. I'm sure, I put it on a few other beds just by chance and just didn't let it sit there long enough. Michael called. <laughs> Hard. What's up, buddy? How are you, bud? Um, I'm back on the Delta in Little Franks. Frank. Oh, yeah? You getting any fish? Uh, I've already caught two. I bet. I was kind of just coming back to see what could have been for tournament day. I mean, who knows, but I've, they're here. Damn, dude. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's four days later. We just had a full moon, so it might be fish that just moved in. Who can really say, you know? Well, it'll be fun. Dude, I cannot wait for the native tournament. Oh, Malonis? Yeah, it's going to be so sick. I know. And the weather's finally starting to, like, get nice. Right. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm probably bringing top water. Oh, I always bring a top water, but who knows if they'll be eating a top water. It's going to be so fun, dude. This native thing is going to be sick. I know. I'm kind of like debating if I want to like just go look for a big one or if I want to, yeah, I don't know. For numbers? Yeah, numbers could be tough because someone could find a fat school. Yeah, big ass. And just rope them for an hour yeah there could be a pocket or something loaded I, I think you could just like go pretty much throughout anywhere on the lake and find fish though you know yeah i don't see why not all right well i'm gonna lose you in two seconds i'm gonna go through a big canyon all right but uh Have i'll talk to you this weekend or something all right talk to you later have fun bye bye <laughs> Yep, as we were just saying, talking to Mikey, I think spring is finally spring of fishing, where you think of shallow fish has officially begun. It took a long time with all this crazy ass weather, but I'm happy it's finally here. It's getting low guys. I think we're just about maybe an hour out from a really low tide and even with the low tide you still can't see to the bottom. Sight fishing is definitely going to be out of the question today unless we pull up into a pocket that's got cleaner water but everything's still pretty dingy out here. Man, I just can't believe I can't get bit on finesse stuff like Senkos, drop shots, like why not? Why just the jig? Just after 10 o'clock right now and still fishing that stretch that 
wanted to fish all tournament, but we've only got two bites. The game plan on tournament day was to really fish here the entire day and grind out five bites. Obviously today's not a tournament, but the question is, do we want to make another pass up through there? See if we can get another bite or two? Or do we want to explore some new water? It would have been interesting on tournament day to see if, you know, if we could fish this all day, if we could have got five fish in the boat in eight hours. I really felt like it was a strong possibility. We just locked that jig in our hand, but eh, we'll never know. I think we're gonna fish our way out of here and then uh, cover some new water. Alrighty, I'm gonna go through an area that I did not get a single bite during pre-fish of the tournament and the tournament itself, which is surprising in a way because it's a history spot for me and I've had a lot of fish out of this area this time of year, mainly small males, but it seems like an area where they set up shop. It's like a good area because, or it has been, because you can see on the side imaging, there's a lot of clean spots for them to make beds. It's not just, you know, a big field of grass. There's some hard spots, which is what you want. That's why I think they were attracted mainly to this area section. Just not sure if they're here yet though. Oh my god, I just got a striper on a jig. No way. Oh my god. I thought that was the 10 yonder. Come here, man. Darn it. I thought that was a 10 pounder, dude. Or, you know, a big fish. Oh, man, that's a first. I don't think I've ever caught a striper on a cheater jig. <laughs> choked it. Really choked it. fatty third bite of the day wrong species <laughs> I thought that was the one I thought that was the one because I felt the thump you know I could see if it ate the, the jig on the way back reeling it in but it hit when it sank that's usually a bass, or always a bass when they hit on the fall. Eh, got me really excited. Eh, maybe I should start throwing that cull shad around. See if there's any more striper. <laughs> Let's do it, why not? I mean, I want bass, but I'm not going to say no to striper either. to the bass. That's a largemouth too. Yeah, that's a largemouth. Oh yeah, that's what we came for. That's what we came for. Yes sir. Yes sir. It's a five. 
perfect hook placement too. He wasn't coming off. Yeah, buddy. Nice one. Where were you on tournament day? Yeah, 489. Nice. 45. That's the ones we were looking for right there. Thank you, sir. All right, what time is it? 11.30, three keepers and a striper. <laughs> Man, I tell you, I, for a split second, I thought that was another striper. I was like, no way. But we saw it flash and no, sir, green one. Delta is finally picking up. Thank you, Lord. Cheater jig 2.0 Oh my god, I got a spinnerbait fish well, maybe it was time I changed over to something else. Little guy. Nice little keeper. Put him on the scales. We're going with the spinnerbait for now. Got to be like a pound. This is a little one. But man, what I would have done to have this fish on tournament day. Or five of these. <laughs> Number four. A little squeaker. The spinner bait. That's cool. Now, what you don't want to see after catching one on a different bait is a cast montage because that essentially means I didn't get bit for a long time on it or at all. Water clarity and wind seem spinner baity. Oh, dang cast montage. Got faked out with a spinnerbait bite, maybe. All right, guys, just about three o'clock, and uh, wow, today was okay i mean trust me i'll take it compared to the first few trips we had out on the delta as you guys may or may not recall they were pretty bad but at least we're catching some fish now at least the delta is starting to come alive but again the whole point of today's video was to come back to my tournament area or the area that i really wanted to fish during the tournament and see potentially maybe what i missed out on now again we just had a full moon it is warming up the weather's stabilizing i think every day in april the bite should get better so even though it's only four days post tournament there's a lot that can change but anyways we went right to the area that I wanted to fish the tournament. Started out with that jig, that old cheater jig as we call it. Going with a little bit brighter color just because of the dirty water as of lately. A lot of flips and that's something I knew would happen today. I knew that we had to make a lot of casts to get bit. I think the majority of the fish that I was fishing for were on beds. Probably males that just moved up from the main channel. Water temps just about 56 degrees so I think they know it's time. Yeah, first bite of the day. Made a flip. Felt that classic tick. Set the hook back. Got me hung in some reeds for a split second and kind Kind of felt like a giant i didn't say anything and uh, i'm glad i didn't because it wasn't a giant but a solid fish a two and a half pounder nice fish to start our day keep going keep going second fish of the day we make a flip in set the hook and another fish another small keeper about a pound and a half there's two fish out of the area that i wanted to fish and again who knows if they were going to be there or were willing to even bite on tournament day but we really beat that area up and i didn't get any other bites so we decided to leave try some new water some areas that i thought potentially these fish could move into and again that was the thing 
thing with the previous week, fishing the tournament, I found a lot of areas that looked promising that fish would probably go to, just they hadn't moved up yet. So we went and checked those areas, flip after flip after flip. I'm not sure of what kind of casting montages we have in this video, but made a flip, ran on the corner of a tule patch, felt that classic tick, set the hook, and oh man, oh man, when you set the hook into a big one, you definitely know it, especially on a jig. And uh, false alarm, ended up being a big old striper. First striper, by the way, on a cheater jig. So that's a first. Hey, a fish, it was fun. Another bite, I'll certainly take it. Kept going, kept going, kept going. Another cast, this time isolated tule patch in about five foot of water. Felt that tick, set the hook. This one felt big too. And luckily this was not a striper, this was a green one. Big fish of the day, thing just shy of five pounds. Beautiful fish, not sure if that was a female up on a bed or maybe a pre-spawn fish, but I will certainly take it. Three fish on the day, pretty happy with that. And then we went a long time without another bite. We kept going and going. Finally decided not to be stubborn with that jig and pick up some other baits and I started throwing the spinner bait around. First few casts, hook into a small one, but keeper number four, happy to have it. And that was pretty much it. We went the rest of the day covering more water, trying different baits, mainly the jig, the spinner bait, mixing in some finesse and not another bite. So in conclusion, today was a good day compared to what it's been so far for me this year out on the Delta, but it's still not quite there as far as the bite goes. However, when this video goes live, who knows what the bite will be like. Probably will actually be pretty good. But guys, that is the video for today. Delta is no longer hurting my feelings like it did so many times this year. As always, I thank you guys for watching, for coming along, and I will catch you guys in the next video.